Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Down. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Crack. TNT. Yo. Uh, I don't have a story today, and you said that you were going to have something. I mean, look, I'm just going to have to issue a trigger warning to even start this out, because this was it was hard for me to read this, honestly. But In I defense, am- when you sent this to me, I didn't read it. And, and then all the comments on the story were, that's enough internet for today, and like throwing their laptop out the window. So definitely do not Bro, it's, continue. Bro, it's, it's really bad. So I just want to issue a disclaimer again, is that this is a really hard story for me to discuss. Yeah. Uh, so You, know, you want to know why the name of this episode is Don't Listen to This Episode? <laughs> that's, that's why, right now. All right, so a couple in Georgia is suing a hospital for decapitating their baby during delivery. Was it a C-section or like, was it a no, it birth? was a vaginal birth. Okay. Um, the worst part is that they then tried to cover up the, uh, the decapitation by propping the baby to make it appear as though the head was still attached. Um, and then trying to convince the couple not to pursue an autopsy. Um, the lawsuit contends that the OBGYN, I'm going to name her, Dr. Tracy St. Julian, refused to do a cesarean section when the couple asked, and the baby's head was stuck in the vaginal canal for three hours. The doctor then. Three hours? The doctor then pulled the head with such force that it was removed from the baby. The lawsuit says that the torso and legs were then delivered via cesarean. And the head via vaginal delivery. So once the head came off, they were like, oh, we should open her up and take the rest of the baby out. That's what happened. The hospital has declined comment at this point. That is insane, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was a hard read for me, but, you know, it, it happened. Very insane. And that's not fake. No, it's not fake. No, it's not fake. It's also a horror story that happened in real life. So my condolences to to the to that to that woman because not only they're never going to be the same. Yeah, exactly. Not only did you you know you plan on having a child for for nine never. months, but then they it was killed on the day that it was born by negligence. Yes, and then you have to go through the horror of having an unnecessary surgery. Um, most when they should have just play. done the surgery in the first when place. They should have just done the surgery in the first place. Yeah. That, very, very awful, man. That is insane. And and what's crazy to me is like, if you, all right. So I'm gonna attack healthcare. I'm gonna attack healthcare Ooh, right we now. Going, we going on a healthcare it, attack. So we we've seen people post like their bills, like, oh, you know, I had. A, I, there was one recently that was making the rounds where a lady actually went through an itemized bill of everything that it costs for her to have a baby. In a hospital. Oh, I saw that, and she, she was happy that her insurance covered a bunch of it. Yeah. And they were like, "It still cost you three grand to have a baby, exactly. or something like that." Yeah, yeah. It still ended up costing her three thousand dollars, but the total price came to like over a hundred thousand dollars, right? It to have a baby, r- and they wonder why nobody's having babies out here. So some ridiculous, and then like as soon as the baby's here, more money has to be poured into it. But we're, we're not attacking baby; we're attacking the healthcare system. This is this is unacceptable. <laughs> On I, so I, many levels. I mean, man. like what happened or the cost or both. The, uh, the, the, what happened? This is unacceptable. On so many levels, man. This makes me like really bad. Do you know how many people had to like fuck up to make that happen? Yeah. Because like after the head stuck in the thing for like a minute or two, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Aren't you like? <laughs> Hey, you can't talk about. It. Keep talking. This, All you want, you can talk. This is a bad. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Talk. I'm not gonna get gross with it. All right. I'm like gross you would figure, thing. somebody would be like, "Hey, we should probably do something." Yeah, yeah. I imagine that that probably came probably around hour two. Yeah. So like, I mean, but like, but the, like the the well, minute the minute two would be like the proper spot, right? Like generally, um, once the head's out, the rest of the body, the head is supposed to be the hardest part. The rest of the body. Well, not the shoulders out. is the hardest part because the nah, that's the broadest. Yeah. Part. Yeah, but yeah. anyways, but like, I imagine you can't. You, uh, yeah. I, it took a lot of people's yeah, failure to make yeah, this happen. Yeah, because it's not like the doctor was in there by himself. But when you are the OBGYN um, or your even the the surgeon in there, you should 
definitely be like, this, this is going wrong, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's it's definitely it's definitely a, a case that you don't hear about. There's a reason that it's making rounds because it is so it's so rare that something this it's so raw. Like it's just like a raw ass story. Like it's just disgusting. It's 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 terrible. So let's man. shift gears to talking about how terrible healthcare is because we we already know how terrible healthcare is this. bad, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you 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 pay for it. You pay for a deductible. What's your deductible? I have a reasonable one. I have good insurance. You got good insurance. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but it's still stupid because like I don't really need to go to the doctor a lot. Yeah. So like I go have one appointment, and then I got to pay like four hundred bucks out of pocket for that one appointment because I haven't hit my deductible. And I'm like, and that's like the only appointment I need all year. Uh, and I'm so, like, so that's the other thing. So they incent they incentivize you going more often. Well, yeah, because here's the thing. If you have health problems, insurance is great. Like, if I had to go to the doctor three times a month, three yeah. times or three times a week or, like, whatever, yeah. like, yeah, I hit my deductible quick. Like, yeah, my ex-wife had a hysterectomy. Like, we hit the, the what, like, a lot of insurance. Like, you hit the out-of-pocket expense. Everything else is free for the rest yeah, of the year. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we have a major surgery like that. Like, then it was like, oh, my foot hurt. Let's go to the doctor. Oh, the kid's got a sore shoulder. Let's go. It was like, get your money's worth because you've already paid all of your out-of-pocket expense. But to get that is still thousands upon thousands of dollars out of pocket and it's like it's it's and, dumb and it, and it makes you wonder like so for those people with health issues insurance is wonderful for them it works for them um i feel like the healthcare system does work for those people because if you do have a health issue and you are actually going to the hospital all those times then yes you do need that. and you're saving a ton of money exactly but for the every man the person that goes like you said I do a couple of checkups a year and that's it. That's it. Is it really that beneficial for you? Now I understand like if you have like medications and stuff like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But a lot of times they're still not fully covered or like, you know, you still got to pay yeah. like a hundred percent. I mean, I, I have decent insurance. So mine isn't too expensive, but like, yeah, sometimes it's like people though. And the funniest part is m people who work in the medical field usually have the worst insurance. Like my ex-wife worked in the medical field, her insurance. I mean, she was on mine cause we were married, but her insurance was like a pile of shit. It was like the deductible was some asinine amount. Like it was like five thousand dollars out of pocket, and then they started paying tw like seventy percent or something. Like and, and normally it's eighty twenty. Like, it, but you had to pay like five k out of pocket before you even got that discount. So I'm like, you have a five thousand dollar bill before you get a discount on the rest of it. Like, who the hell's doing that? Nobody. Right. Man, don't get me going. <laughs> I want to get you going, some right. bitch. I well, want to get you going because I feel like they need a a different plan for the everyman. One where you can hit your deductibles faster, but or even like a, a, not do well, not problem, hit your deductible, but well, hit your what do you call it? Here's the problem: the exorbitant of amount pocket. of stuff they charge for everything. That part because I know my ex wife again had went to I think the emergency room or went to something something like that went to the emergency room for something or in like and when she got the bill it wasn't itemized it was just like hey you owe 800 bucks or something like oh, that they have, right? to, they have to do that now they changed that law a couple years ago well well then she finds shows she called them up was like i want the itemized bill because yeah. it was, was years ago we got the bill and it was like and it was like bandage 35 dollars and it's like that shit cost you like the amount of the amount of bandages the goddamn hospital cost it literally cost them less than a cent and then it was like bedside blood test she's like they didn't give me a bedside blood test like what the hell are you charging me a bed so she yeah, so like and she i mean is. but she also showed me if you know what you're talking about and call they will like basically just throw the bill in the garbage oh because yeah because if you call and start saying i didn't get this i didn't get this it's easier for them to just say sorry we'll just we'll you don't worry about paying at all then yeah because everyone else is covering that anyway and and a hundred percent true. And hey, look, man, and these and these hospitals are making bank. Oh because yeah, because nobody's checking the bill and everybody's just paying. Everybody's and just nobody paying. understands it, right? Like yeah. nobody knows what the hell is what. So they did they did change that law a couple a couple of years ago, where now they have to give you itemized bills because people knew that they were just trying. Like, <laughs> what are some other cases of businesses that have little hidden fees, man? I mean, we get. I mean, we're out of time, but we give me one more at least. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Overdraft. Fees. But but honestly, the bank. Look, I, I'm going to be real with you. If you manage your money in the bank, you don't get any fees. I haven't had a fee in the bank in forever. The, what you get in trouble when you start bouncing checks, overdrafting your account. Yeah, yeah. That's when you get a bunch of fees. Yeah. Like 
if you don't do that, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a fee at the bank. Yeah. So the bank isn't so bad. No, no. Uh, hidden fees. Oh, uh, Ticketmaster. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. You want a ticket? It's thirty bucks at the end. Eighty bucks for that ticket. You're like, excuse me. <laughs> Convenience fee, yeah. transaction fee. You're like, bruh. Like it's digital. You're not even mailing me a ticket. I hate it when the price for something goes up for fifteen dollars. Oh, DoorDash. <laughs> Hit these, man. Yeah, bro. This shit was twenty four dollars. Why is it forty now? Yeah. Why did my twenty dollar meal go up to forty? Hey, I watched you order a forty dollar salad one day. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, oh, would you get a wrap in a salad? It was forty dollars or yeah, something. I was, I was like, oh, it to be bigger than that too. It yeah, was not- yeah. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazynow.com. Subscribe for donuts. Oh, yeah.